I shouldn't drink coffee. Welcome to Goodnight Spoon. And I guess I want to start at the beginning because you don't know who I am and I don't know who you are. So let's get to know each other. My name is Chrissy. I am 23 years old. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my God. Stop fucking lying. And I live in Texas. I am engaged to a British man. He lives in London and he is 25. We have had the craziest adventure, let me tell you, but it has been the most fun and amazing time of my life. And I guess I want to start at the very beginning. Do a love dance, do a love dance. I am so in love. I got me a lover and we are so in love. So Thomas Oliver, this one is for you. I am so thankful for the day I met you, December 28th, 2017. I love you so much and thank you for giving me the best adventure thus far and I can't wait for all that there is to come. So this was our very first picture together. Um, we didn't capture the first meeting because I was so nervous, but I'm so glad we got this picture. And I'm gonna show you a bunch of my favorite memories, all piled into one. <laughs> I swear, I thought it was a freaking video. I was like, you are not taking a photo. What are you doing? Making memories. <laughs> Are you going to tell me to fuck off and quit filming? No. Are you going to say ew? No. Kiss me. No, don't kiss me. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> 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 Getting to know you was one of the most magical things, from how playful you were to how loving and gentle and protective you are. You never cease to amaze me. So hey guys, we're out here in, uh, in London, and Daddy's got all the bags, while little princess over here is uh, smooth sailing, because uh, gym life. Can we do some squats too? Yeah, no, yeah, you could, yeah, do it. Anyways. So, this is Thomas, it's my boyfriend, well, girlfriend, sorry, and uh, he calls me daddy every night. We stayed in our very first apartment together, and... It was amazing to be out on our own. It was small and quaint, but it was perfect. Yeah. And we got some amazing pictures. <laughs> we stayed in the uh, heart of London. And so we were able to travel all around London very easily and very quickly. Come and grab a booty. Champagne and whiskey. Yeah, but... Booty. Yeah. You took me around London and showed me all of the touristy things, and it was fun getting to see what you call home. So this is, and we're underneath this motherfucker, 
And then there's a lot of assholes. Just a lot of. There is. Right here. I'm the biggest. What? What? No, no, no. Yeah. No. You smell nice. We went on so many dates and had so much fun drinking and just enjoying each other, our youth, and the environment. We even filmed our very first mukbang, which is over 30 minutes. Yeah, we go. Ilesh, put the money in the pocket. This is London. <laughs> you don't have a pocket. <laughs> Give it back to me. We went to the aquarium and we watched a street performer and it was weird, but we stayed. And then we bought books and just made our way home. And like all good things, it must come to an end and... We were saying goodbye to our first apartment and heading off to Paris. But the days were growing thin and I was going to be leaving very soon. I love you. Okay. Yeah. You comforted me through it all and you made me feel so loved. And then came my birthday, and we were off to Paris and Berlin to live the most magical dream. I had told you this once in passing, and you remembered everywhere I wanted to go. We made so many promises. We even wrote them down in a little book. We arrived in Paris and had a crazy taxi driver like he was crazy, but he got us to the Louvre safely and let me tell you it is the most beautiful sight I have ever seen aside from the Eiffel Tower. I just, I've never been so in awe and so in love. I got to see so many classic Renaissance paintings and the Mona Lisa and all of the paintings on the ceiling, mummies, Egyptian art. There was nothing more magical. It gave me countless countless bursts of inspiration. And then there was the king's room. I think in this moment, it's probably the best moment of my life. And I think I fell in love with you 10 times over just seeing where I was able to come, where I thought I would never be. And I couldn't, I couldn't look everywhere fast enough. I couldn't look everywhere slow enough, taking it all in, taking you in. at the best restaurant after seeing the Eiffel Tower and just like that we were off to Berlin to see the wall and after a long bus ride and a trip to the zoo I got to experience one of the most important places in my life. We're eating Dunkin Donuts. Finally. For the first time. Finally. I don't know why he's saying finally. He never asked for Dunkin Donuts. Yo, I, move over here. It's better lighting. Move over here. It's better lighting. Do this. Do this. Do yeah. this. Do this. I just want to eat a donut. I'm sorry for my love and wanting to create memories for us. Oh, 
Ooh, that caught I mean, I can have low quality memories, it's fine. Anyway, so this is my first bite of a Dunkin' Donut. So we'll see how it is. Oh, oh. Pretty good. We ate Dunkin' Donuts in a train station, and no offense, but this Dunkin' Donuts was the worst thing I've ever eaten. Just eaten. It was horrible. The coffee was burnt, but it was wonderful being able to spend time with you, and it turns out we ended up getting delayed. Our train got canceled, and we had the biggest freak out, but we made it through it, and it was so eye-opening to see that we could work together as a team to get home. What is this common sense? Well, you didn't wait for me? We're in the Berlin Bahnhof. During this shit up. But it's actually not that bad. It's actually really nice. Yeah, I mean, it could be worse. I mean, it could, everything could be shut, right? Yeah, we're at McDonald's. So it's not too bad. Um, we were on time. We were perfect. We were great. We did everything great. We were at our train. And 10 minutes. They cancelled the fucker. So now we've been trying to work out how we're getting home. I was scared. I, was... I don't. I don't. I, I wanted to punch someone. See, two different reactions. His is anger. Mine is like everything is going to be horrible. I'm stuck in Germany. I'm losing my job. I don't even like the German accent as it is. But we made it home, and it was coming to the end of our journey. I had one last Sunday dinner, and then we were off to the hotel. And you are a cheeky little devil because you got me a birthday cake, and this was the first time in many years that I've had one, and, and your family sang to me, and it was so special. It shouldn't burn down the house. No, it may not burn down the house. It won't burn down the house. We've got really fair burning lights. Oh. 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 oh! oh! isn't that clever? Where did you get that? I got that on oh, my so. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Chrissy. Happy birthday to you. No words can describe the love I felt in that moment. Is that Mira? You look like your dad. <laughs> I definitely do stuff that my dad would have done. Really? Yeah, it's just something you would have done. Doors opening. You booked the most beautiful hotel suite, and we got to spend the last night eating steak and lobster and drinking and just really enjoying this whole adventure. Oh, there we go. This is perfect. And it's amazing. Yeah. It sucks. They had a London gift shop in here. Yeah, so he said to the right. Yeah. Oh, I have 3089. Yeah. Him. He's it smells like you. It smells like me? Yeah. What does that mean? I don't know, but 3089. What do I smell like? Terrible. Oh. Oh. Are you gonna open the door or what? Am I gonna open it? Yeah. Okay. How do I hit the lights? Please insert. Key room to activate lighting. Read. <laughs> Whoa. Oh! This is a daddy suite. Wow. Oh, it's lovely.
Happy? Happy? It's beautiful. Happy? And you surprised me on that last night. You asked me to marry you, and I didn't expect it, but it felt and it still feels so right. I love you. You know, you're going to be watching this over, right? You're the best thing that's going to happen to me. You are. You're the best thing I've ever had. Well, thank you. For, we're going to use these paws because they're, gonna, they're not wet yet. And half of his body's wet, so it doesn't matter. He's used to it. Okay? Alright. You're beautiful. I'm so happy to call you, man. Do you know what Beyonce said? Do you know what Beyonce said? No? If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then... <laughs> no. It's not forever. It's only temporary. Okay? This is the hardest bit. Okay, I'm gonna go home and I'm just gonna have a whole bucket of ice cream watching Bridget Jones' diary all night. I have the notebook, time traveler's wife, all everything. And I'm literally just gonna sit there and just pull my eyes out. Right over. I'm, I'm a man. <laughs> I'm a real boy. I might watch Pinocchio too. No, that might perk me up a little bit because he seems to be made out of wood and be a real boy, so why can't I? And he also has a big nose like me. So when you're watching this back, just remember, I love you, and I'm going to do anything for you, anything. I mean, I, I'm holding your clothes hostage, I'm holding your trainers hostage, your trainers don't fit, but I'm holding them hostage, I mean, I can make them into some funky cool like cushions, I can make a scarecrow, I don't really need a scarecrow, but I can make a scarecrow, um, I could do a lot of things. The most important thing, right? I had the best time in my life. Maybe. Right. No one can ever take that away from me. No one can ever take that away from me. Right. This is just the most difficult part of it. And we both knew it was coming. I'm going to say to you after this if you want to rip up your parkour, I'll happily get in a cab with you and we'll go home. But you ain't gonna do that because you got <laughs> responsibilities. Yeah? I love it. I got to experience 10 amazing, emotional, loving, beautiful days and I am so grateful for every single memory we, we got to make and every single memory we get to keep on film or not we have it in our hearts and in our minds and in pictures and I can't wait to keep doing it over and over again I can't wait for you to be here and so I hope anyone who is going through a long distance relationship I hope you know that it's worth it when you find that person who loves you so selflessly and who listens to you and who wants to push you to be a better you and who wants to be a better them for themselves and for you and who challenges you and who considers you and who treats you with so much softness when all there is is just so much hardness in this world. I hope you know it is worth it.
no matter how much money it costs, no matter how lonely you feel some nights, or that physical presence that you yearn for, no matter how much you need it, it's coming, and it's worth it. As long as you love them, and as long as they love you, fight. Don't let distance separate you from what could be the best thing of your life, the most defining, defining thing of your life, your home, your family. Fight. Because I know I sure am going to. We've gotten to meet about two other times since then, and I'm so grateful every time I get to be with him in person. And hopefully this year, we will be able to get married, and maybe 2020 will close the distance. But until then, I'll be holding strong, and I'll know every step of the way I am loved. Thank you for watching, and thank you for listening to me just talk about my story and my first meet, because it was one of the most beautiful moments of my life. It literally was my dream brought to reality. Good night, Spoon.